you know Bitch bow down, look who turned to a clown now I came back like a Marianne, you fell off like bow wow You ain't got no class, can't sit with us, can't come to my school Ain't got time for these dumb little fools, what's up like that uncle a fool Sour so they send for us What's good guys, okay so it's been a while since I've been on YouTube but like I'm back, like, don't worry I was just having my Christmas break, you know what I mean? You need a break from social media. So I was having my little break, but I'm back. I'm, I've got like um, a house tour coming this week. I um, just have to edit it. I've got um, just like really um, different ideas for YouTube. So, you know, story times and all that jazz. So it's gonna be fun. So I just thought, it just randomly came to me that I would do a really quick, story time about the time okay so there's this guy yeah that i was um in love with and i want to talk about the crazy one of the craziest things i did to get his attention and i wouldn't say we've all been there but a lot of us have been there a lot of girls have been there um god my earring the thing is yeah when i tell you this story i'm gonna say this did I ever think I'd be the type of girl to act this crazy over a guy? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No chance, mate. So the fact that I've, I did it, it's like, it's, it's like, is this me? It's like looking into, it's like watching a movie. Like you can't even believe that you are the person, you are the person like that. Like I can't believe what I'm about to tell you is me because it's so tapped. What I done was tapped, bro. So anyway, before I start, I just want to say to anyone who's new, make sure you subscribe on the ting, make sure you like on the ting, make sure, make sure you become part of the goodie gang. I call my people goodies, do you understand? But anyway, I was dating this guy, right? Um, and he broke up with me, he broke my heart. This guy that I'm talking about is someone that I've spoken about a lot on my channel. <laughs> never stop me you can never stop me okay when i feel like it i'm gonna do it bitch i'm gonna do it bitch and you have to get over it and that's on what period 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 table so um yeah there was this dude i was dating um like i said i've spoken about him a lot on my channel <laughs> i used to think he was the love of my life but he was just really the dickhead of my life so this guy um it'd been a year i think it'd been like a year and a half and he broke up with me initially we, we the breakup was mutual because we fell out because he stole from me so it was mutual like we both like we just we wasn't getting along yeah so he me and him like like no one was chasing no one really i would say in the beginning okay i'm, I'm lying in the beginning stages he was a little bit more like what like it, he was chasing when we initially ended initially he was the one trying to reach out to me but then as time went on and i wanted him back he wasn't interested cool so anyway a year and a half later i've realized that i can't get over this boy nothing i do nothing i do is making me get over this boy so um, my cousin who lives in Africa, she was getting married, sis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my mom, um, end of the bargain was to buy my cousin her wedding dress. So my mom didn't want to spend like grand on my, on my cousin. My cousin's poor basically. So it was like, you know, my mom's auntie. It was just something nice that my mom could do for her niece. But of course she, she you know, she, it's not her daughter. She doesn't want to spend thousands of thousands so we went to frontier road in finsbury park i don't know if you know where that is but you can get really like affordable and cheap wedding dresses there so we went to frontier road to do the damn thing and get a dress we got a really beautiful puffy wedding dress oh my god i think it's in this room shit then one sec one sec let me see if i can find it one sec, one sec, one. a few moments later No, there was two dresses. Now, her perfect dress, can you see me? Her perfect dress, oh my God, this is such a, uh, um, um, it's this story has layers. Her perfect dress, she wanted a, a dress with bling bling, but dresses with more bling and with more um, accessories and dresses that have 
like designs and stuff and embellishment they can t they can tend to be more expensive than a plain dress so um we my mom went initially before she went to the frontier road she went on ebay and she bought a dress and the dress was only like a hundred pounds it was second hand now that dress had a stain on it so um my mom started to panic and i remember when i was at work she like i said to her mom let's just try and dry clean it she went to dry clean his dry cleaner said he didn't want to touch it in case he ruined it even though there was that like stain so i said to mom just risk it it was only 100 pounds try and wash it like hand wash it my mom was panicking so my mom ran to finsbury park bought a friggin wedding dress i think she spent like 250 300 on this wedding dress ne yo I need the toilet. can't you use the one downstairs bed. yeah but quite okay so she bought this dress let me show you guys i'm not gonna completely open it Whew. here it is <laughs> yes bitch here it is oh isn't it pretty isn't it pretty it's so big it's like so big it's like a princess dress it is huge huge A huge humongous dress a huge humongous dress so anyway um I'll tell you after so this is it big yeah that's calm I'll tell you later so and you can take the back you can take the back there's like this beautiful um these beautiful buttons it's just cool it's gorgeous lovely princess dress right I can never fit this I think this is a size 8 and my breasts are too big for it but yeah, we can we can dream sis we can dream let me just put this here while i tell the story so basically um she bought this dress and we had the other one that was staying so she was going to take this one to africa for the wedding but then what happened is because she had two dresses she hand we hand washed the other one because at this point we could risk it for a chocolate biscuit so we washed it and guess what the dress all the stains came out so my mom didn't have to bother with buying this dress. Now, they, she had two dresses. They were both princess dresses, but the difference is, as you can see with this dress, there is hardly any embellishment. There's a, there's a little bit of like diamonds and stuff, but not a lot. So the other dress that was second hand had loads, loads on the top. And that's what the girl asked for. So I promised my mom, and I still haven't done it because I'm so crap. I promised my mom that I'll put this on eBay and sell it and imagine it's still in the back of the room. So I promised my mom I'll put it on eBay and sell it. So now I had this dress and um, I was feeling like a nutter and I, I needed my closure. So one day it came to me that I would have the crazy psycho, crazy psycho, crazy psycho bitch idea to pretend. Okay, I had this like, crazy idea to stage that I was engaged. yeah girl you heard that right i had this crazy idea to stage that i was engaged stage that i was getting married and the school the sole purpose of me staging that was so that you know you know how like sometimes you know when people see that you've moved on that's when they realize or that's when they think oh my god like like maybe you know it could, it could have worked out or that's when they start to miss you when they realize i can't have you anymore so that was my thinking that was my logic so Oh, my highlights because basically with the other dress that my cousin got we had to um um she, even though she had embellishment i added more diamonds on it because you know I'm, I'm quite a creative person so i added more diamonds to the dress for her so i filmed myself putting diamonds and then i put it on my instagram page and basically said and said oh my god just uh, making my dress even more special for my special day <laughs> yes sis so i did that and then um i sent so I, I thought I need to now construct a, a, I need to start a conversation and construct a message to my man to make him think that, you know, even though I'm engaged to be married, you know, and I'm going to be someone's wife, um, you know, something in my spirit doesn't sit well with me because obviously, you know, we just had this special connection and I just, I just, I just, I'm not sure. Like, you know, before I walk down the aisle, I just, I just, I just, I don't know, you know, I, I, you know, I, you know people say what is it called cold feet so it's like i'm having cold feet am i doing the right thing so i just made it up i made it up i staged it i put it on my instagram the dress and whatnot and i sent um a message i wish i could show you i might look for it if i find it i'll show you 
I sent a message and it was just a paragraph and it basically just said, hey, whatever you're called. Oh my God, you know, you know, la 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 la, I'm engaged to be married. <laughs> mm, cap. I'm engaged to be married and you know, I just, I just don't know, you know, you know, even though I love him, he's a lovely guy, I just, I'm not sure, I just wanted to reach out to you before I walked down the aisle and guess what, guess what, it worked like a charm, it worked like a charm, <laughs> it worked like a charm, I got a response, I got a, oh, let me bell you, that's what the guy said, he was like, let me bell you, he, he rang me, we spoke, I had to, you have to you have to continue with the act yeah you can't let them know that you're capping so i continued with the act and i was like oh my god yeah and he was like come meet me and let's talk and then i just i don't know because i'm a weirdo when i got there instead of me to talk about should i should i walk down the aisle with my matthew or are you the love of my life? Instead of me to finish with the thing, I just, I, don't, I just, I don't know. I just, I was too caught up in my emotions of having <sighs> him back in my life. So I flopped the thing. I don't know at one point he clocked that I was a liar. If he watches this, he's probably gonna remember, yeah, this girl is tapped, you know. She's done a lot of tap stuff. Can I come back at six o'clock? Yeah, come on. Let me finish my story. Should I have you up? I have to cover myself. No, I won't. Just, it's, 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 you don't have to cover yourself to go out. Okay, whatever. Yeah, but, sorry. So because I was so excited just to be around him and in his presence and in his space, um, I... I just, I just didn't bring it up again. And I don't know when he clocked, like I said, I don't know when he clocked that. It was Cap, but he definitely clocked. Um, and obviously, you know, it wasn't like I was posting dress rehearsals and stuff like that. So I think we fucked a few times and then I don't know, it just, it just fizzled away. Um, I, I, you know what? I've heard of girls who have lied about, lied about um, being pregnant to like keep a guy or get a guy's attention. You know, see, and back in the day, I would've been like, sis, that's foul. Would've been like, that is foul behavior. Don't do that. But bitch, who am I to talk? Who am I to talk? I pretended I was engaged. I pretended I was engaged. Engaged. Do you understand? I was tapped, I pretended I was engaged just to get my man's attention so he could talk to me. And like I said, it worked like a charm because <laughs> he met me and gave me that D. Do you understand? He wanted me to know. And I remember him saying on the phone, I remember him saying, so what, you wanted the real thing? Of course you want the real thing back. That's what he said. So obviously, something along them lines, like you want the real, the real thing, like our thing's real or whatever. So I was just like, <laughs> I was probably like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so confused. I don't even know how I went with that cap. And I, you know, he never once called me a liar. He probably watches this and thinks this girl is so tapped. But the difference is I know when to be like hey guys i was lying and when to be like when you do lies or bants there's a, a point where you can like own up to it you know what i mean so this a whole facade calm like i said if a girl pretends she's pregnant how would i feel about it i do think it's a bit you know even out of order but because men are so foul and men treat women so badly if there's a method to your madness if you're doing it for a, a certain reason if i don't know if there's a method to your madness and it's gonna benefit you in in, in a good way then do use this who am i to judge who am i to judge who am i to judge who am i to me i can't be judging nobody so that's what i did sis and um you know what i'm saying if anyone wants to get their ex's attention back you know, buy yourself a engagement ring. Um, it doesn't have to be real. Go to Claire's Accessories in one of the, them places there. Put it on your finger. Um, take a picture of it. Put it on Instagram and say, I said yes, bitch. That's the caption. I said yes. You don't have to have the dress like me. It's because it was there. 
ring. I said yes. Your ex gonna be ringing you back within 0 0.5 seconds, you understand? 0 0.5, sorry, 0 0.5 seconds. Mm -hmm. And that's my toxic lesson of the day. You're welcome. You're welcome. Love you lots. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching me. Like I said, I'm gonna drop a house tour this week as long as, as well as loads of other fun things. So love you guys so much. Yep, love you guys so much. Make, let me know if you would like me to um model this dress for you ever, even though it's a size eight. So guys, I really love you. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you give this video, like I said, a thumbs up, a like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And also down below, let me know if you guys have ever done anything crazy or your friends have done anything crazy to get a guy's attention. I can't be the only one who pretended they was engaged to get a guy's attention. I know you lot have done some tap shit. Don't leave me hanging on my own. Don't do it. Anyway, love you. Bye. I'm gonna rise and reach the A list. Come on, I've been your favorite. I'm like, rah, cause it started over smash or pass. Now I'm coming and I'm back with bars. Motherfucker, I'm a Daniel dance. I'm sitting on a wall. I'm sitting on a shh. I'm sitting on a ah. I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information.